use the EduPunk channel. There's a there's different people, different classes available. Uh, let's go back one. All right, we won't go back one. But we're just looking at live and upcoming classes. You will not necessarily see this. So, well, that's not what I want to see either. But what we do want to see is that there's several ways for you to find classes. Every class description that I create has a big calendar. If you go to My ESL Friends, you'll always see the calendar on the right-hand side. Whatever class you set up, you need to keep track of it. One of the things that we cannot create at this point is a personal notification unless you sign up for the class in your regular WizIQ class um, setup. Now, one of the things you're going to get from me is an email that looks like this. I at your punk team. I've created a teacher account for you and you'll have access. Now here's an important one. Here is your link to the EduPunk. Notice that it begins with HTTP. There is no www and that's all you need to put into your browser. I suggest that you save it as a favorite. See I have the EduPunk channel saved as a favorite after I visited it. And then here is your username depending on which channel you're with and then your password. Let's go ahead and go here and see if we can get to that. And we will see that we have a list of live and upcoming classes. Um, I should sign out to show you, but once you um, get to this page and you would have had to sign in, let's sign out and sign in quickly. And here we go. I think it was EduPunk 1. No, it was the EduPunk 1, wasn't it? The EduPunk 1 at Gmail. And then you put in your password. Um, and then you can remember it or not. And then you sign in. Then you get the list of classes that are coming up for Channel 1. Okay? And any class that you see. Now there's one that's already running. So we can launch the class. Or you can open one up early and put some materials in it. Okay. Once you get into the class you have many of the same functionalities that you had in your other your regular classroom. But the content library will be um, the EduPunks content library. So you can still use the upload from desktop, but when you go to the EduPunk library, you're going to see all of the materials that are put in for everyone. So there's quite a few. There's um, over 1,000 files in there now, I think. Well, there's a bunch, but um, we'll go into that separately. You're welcome to anytime go in and look around and play with the files, but that's about it for that. Now, let's go ahead while we're here, let's go ahead and close this class. It cannot be ended because it really hasn't begun yet. Let's take a quick look that you have the ability to schedule a class, okay? Now, this will be a private class. Currently, I, as the EduPunk administrator, has the only ability to schedule public classes. So the information that you have to get to me, and remember it has to be at the same time every week. We're not going to do different times. Um, same kind of information as always. Class title, um, date, what day and time it's going to repeat at, and we only do one month at a time. So that might be four classes, one half hour class per week, any keywords that you wish. And remember, if you want them to be found, put in EduPunk and about the class. So you can schedule it, but it will be a private class. Um, like I say, we want public classes, so you will want to use me to set up public classes. All right, that's it for how to open and get into the classes on the EduPunk. Just send me an email, and then tell me what channel, and then I will set you up. That's all.